We're in the beautiful suburb of Campbell and we're about to check out this Japanese inspired home. It is future proofed and all of that with an eight star energy rating. Harry, what a beautiful day in Canberra and I can't wait to see this amazing build. Thanks, Bessie. Well, Canberra's turned the weather on for us yeah. <laughs> as it normally does, but this house is for us quite special. It's yes. won two national awards. Yes. It's got so many things going for it that we just love it. So come on in and have a look. Awesome, it's going to be memorable, I can tell. Let's do it. Beautiful home. Are we in Japan or are we in Canberra? I'm confused. Um, a bit of both, a actually. Bit of both. Outside's Canberra because it's freezing. It's freezing cold, <laughs> but inside, very much a Japanese feel to a beautiful home. It is a future planning home. Mm. Robert, the owner, may or may not end up in a wheelchair in years to come. Mm -hmm. So he didn't want to have to leave the house if that took place. Mm -hmm. He wants to stay in what he's, you know, he's designed and loves. The house operates as a single dwelling for Robert mm -hmm. and a separate dwelling which is rented out at the moment. That separate dwelling with the removal of one piece of joinery and opening of a door becomes one whole house yeah. or access for the carers to come in. So it's really well done. I always wanted to build an energy efficient sustainable home. I wanted something that would suit me for a long time. I've actually been to Japan four times. I looked at a house in Japan. You walk in and you feel totally comfortable the dimensions and the likes and thought, could I have that built here in Australia? Things like the doors effectively come off a Japanese, what they call a Kura door, which is a warehouse door. So I just enjoy their aesthetics and the way they do things. Okay, so the overall design of this house is absolutely gorgeous, but even the interior design is great. There's beautiful features of the house which need to sing. Mm -hmm. The rest of the elements need to disappear. It functions beautifully. There's yeah. areas of that kitchen which are designed for future proofing, you know, that can be pulled out so they're wheelchair accessible, mm -hmm. but the rest of it needs to go away. You've nailed it. I actually mm. love how you've said that and you've really just encapsulated that classic Japanese design. Certain features sing and yep. the others disappear. That's yep. perfect. That yep. is Japan. So those elements are there, which you can see, but to get a passive house design behind that, you're effectively building another skin behind what we're standing in now. Yes. So the insulation of this house and the air movement inside to outside is extreme. We've got triple glazed windows. They perform unbelievably well, but the rest of the walls do as well. One in five houses in Australia nowadays has a PV system on the roof, electric panels. So does this house. We've got the battery storage. But if you're also building a passive house attached to that, you know, that photovoltaic system really comes into its own. Every square metre of this house has underfloor heating under the tiles. Yeah. The airflow coming in and out is all electronically controlled. Everything in this house is electric, yet the photovoltaic system can cope and that's how you get your, your passive house rating. There's an air test put on the house. They actually yes. put a huge fan in and try and suck all the air out of the house. And how did it perform? And that, well, we had the highest rating they've achieved yet in Australia, so we that's blew that brilliant. out. brilliant. Beautiful um, living space just as you walk in, that focal point being those amazing wooden doors. Robert came to us with a picture yes. of a Japanese factory door. We looked at that and said, Great, let's do it. So we went to a local company here called Thor's Hammer and they make beautiful furniture. You know, this was 65 mil thick, solid recycled timber. And then we need to put it into a frame that would fit in there. And then we thought, okay, we've got this beautiful frame. How do we then set that door off? Mm. Literally got some 200 by 200 recycled wharf posts, yep. had them ground and brushed, you know, to frame the door. So it looks absolutely spectacular. And then moving forward again into that gorgeous hallway, you've yeah. got this incredible pool. The pool is unique. Um, flat packed stainless steel pool out of the US. It's a hydrotherapy pool, so it's it a. It comes flat packed. Constructed here on site. It's awesome. It's quite amazing. So great. And I also love that beautiful courtyard. Again, so oh. Japanese. And it works beautifully. Everywhere in the house, that's a major living area. You're looking at that courtyard. Yeah, it's beautiful. Courtyard is, it, the whole element is just awesome. I love it. I took a lot of pride in, you know, in building this. We started with Pickleman a long time ago. So my father used to have his business and I worked for him for a long time. You know, I'm taking over the reins a bit and, you know, trying to execute projects like this. One of the challenges with this courtyard was the stones, the big granite stones and the big stoops. We achieved that pretty easily with a, with a big crane. I think it just really ties the whole house and the landscape together. 
wow, it really is tranquil, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. It is a beautiful spot. It's the heart of the house, really. Yeah. Old houses built around this area. This is the the focal point, so to speak. Yes. The garden as it stands, you know, Robert's design, working together with Steve to really bring it to life. We got the fun of building this beautiful Japanese gate. As and a the carpenter, walls you'd love it. Oh, <laughs> it's a dream job. You, you don't get that every day of the week. So yeah. we've enjoyed every bit of that and uh, we get to show what we can do. And that makes our job just spectacular. And I happen to know that there must be something else brewing in there. So what's next? What's on the horizon? Well, as customer home builders, mm -hmm. you know, our enjoyment is building people's dreams. Mm -hmm. And we've got a few more of those to show you in the next uh, little while. So oh, we're looking forward to doing that. Oh, we can't fun. wait. I love to stay in Canberra and we'll see you again soon. Beautiful.